All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve when we're given these two circles. All right, so what we're going to talk about with these two circles is there's a relationship. And there's a couple things we need to look at. On a circle, you have your radius, which is R, right? And we also have what we call a central angle, which we'll call theta. Then what we can do is we can develop a formula for us to find the arc length, which we'll call S. And the relationship of the formula is arc length, S, is equal to your radius times theta. The one stipulation is you got to make sure that theta is in terms of radians. So if I give you degrees in for your theta, make sure you convert it to radians. Right? And the way that we can convert it to radians is you know by using our ratio, right, to convert from degrees to radians. You guys can use that ratio to multiply out. So let's look at this problem. Here we don't have any units, but what we do is we have a radius that's at 75, and we have an arc length that's at 60. So all I'm going to do is just plug in the formula. So I say 60 is equal to my radius, which is 75, theta. Then to solve for theta, I'll divide by 75. And 60 divided by 75 is going to be 0.8. So you can say theta equals 0.8. So that's going to be 0.8 radians is the measurement of theta. All right? And obviously, you could say like that's in the negative direction, but the, um, the measurement of theta is 0.8. Over here, we're given our theta, which is 1. And we're given the arc length, which is 3 meters. So my arc length is 3 meters equals my radius, which is 1, times, um, oh, I'm sorry, my theta is 1 times r. So what is obviously r going to equal? r is 3. Therefore, my radius for this is 3 meters, because this one they gave us uh, units to use. All right, any questions on that? Just use the formula. If you have arc length, plug it in. If you have your radius or theta, just make sure theta's in radians. Wait, repeat what you just said. You're just plugging in what values you get, either the arc length, which is the length of the arc. You don't get it, like on the one below, and then it's not one. Which one below? <laughs> like the word one below, but don't make circle. Yeah, they do. They tell you what the radius is and the arc length. Or they give you the radius and the angle. Can you use an example? I just did. This one no, is. like doing it backwards. But this is exactly like 89. I just did 89 right here. I'll go and show you guys a video where you guys have things. Yeah.